How long do you know her? Almost my entire life. She asked you to cash a check for her? Yes. When was that? On the 6th of April, 2012. What kind of check was it? It was a money order. From whom? From my children's father. For how much? $946. All right, the story is not difficult. You cashed the money order at your bank because you didn't have a bank account? That's correct. Why don't you have a bank account? Because I don't have one. That's not an answer. You're an adult. Most adults have bank accounts. I, I, I didn't have no desire to get a banking account. Do you work? No, I don't. How do you support yourself? Um, I get Social Security. How much? $659 a month for me and $145 for my children. And that's your only source of income? That is. So your children's father doesn't pay child support? He does pay child support, Your Honor. Well, then you have other money coming into your house. How much does he send you in child support? I get $400 a month. And how come your children get money from Social Security? It's a dependency from my check. Why do you get Social Security? Because I have issues. I'm disabled. I can't work. So you get Social Security disability? That's correct. Okay. So you cashed this check for $946 for her and you ultimately gave her the money? Yes. That she doesn't deny, correct? That's correct. Turned out that the checks were bad. The bank now says, give me my money. Correct. What did you do with the money? I spent it on my children. So you spent it? That's correct. The money order was bad. I didn't have no clue over that. Well, so what? She cashed the check. You used the money on yourself, and somebody's out the money. It's not going to be her. I had no control over that, Your Honor. You spent the money. Okay, but she should have took that up with the bank, not me. You take it up with the bank. You take it up with the husband. You report them to the police, to the federal authorities, for violation of the banking law, for sending you bad money orders. You do it. Not her, because you spent the money. You spent the money feeding your face and your kids' faces and buying clothes, and I don't know what else you buy, but you spent the money. She didn't spend the money. You got the benefit from the bad check. But I didn't know it was counterfeit. I had no control over I it. I want you to pay attention. Put on your listening ears. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm not saying you had control over it. I don't know whether you had control over it or not, and I don't care. You ate the money. You consumed the money. She got no benefit from the money. You got the benefit from the money. It came from you. Take care of it and deal with it. That's your problem. Don't visit your problem on anybody else, Miss Mann. You've already visited your problems on a lot of other people, including me as a taxpayer. But don't visit this problem on her. She's an innocent. I'm innocent here because I had no control over the money order, Your Honor. I'm a victim just as well as she is. You're a victim who ate the money. You used the money for what, allegedly, it was intended, which was for your children. They're not her children. They're your children. That's correct. So, you feed them. That's what their mother is supposed to do. And that's I'm what I do. I'm not supposed to feed your children. I take care of my children. No. Everybody else takes care of your children. The federal government takes care of your children, and their father takes care of them. You do not take care of them. I do take care of them. They're my care, Your Honor. How do you feed them? With what? I buy food to feed them. With what? My check. What check? My Social Security check. Where do you get that from? The and, government. And who is the government? Taxpayers. Third is the government. These people are the government. That money order that came to you was used by you to take care of your responsibility, not her responsibility, yours. So if you got her embroiled in this little scam, which I believe is probably part of your life's work. You have to take it up with the bank, with the ex-husband, with the authorities. Do you work? Yes, I do. You don't work. You have nothing to do all day but take this matter up with your ex-husband and the bank and whoever else you think is responsible. That's not her job. That's your job. But the Bank of Texas said it was a legit money order. I asked Nicole Peterson originally to cash the check. We went... How old are you? 41. How old are you? 18. Listen to me carefully. How many children do you have? I have four. You have four children. She's 18 years old. You're supposed to be responsible, not an 18-year-old. Do you understand? I do, Your Honor. Well, you have not been terribly responsible for a good part of your life. In this case, you're going to be responsible. This 18-year-old doesn't get saddled with your problem. This $946 is your problem. It's not my problem. It's oh, I'm making problem. it your problem. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff, that's it.